Welcome to the seventh video on CSS layouts. In this video, we're going to add another sidebar, but this time we're going to use an image, and that image will cover the entire area of the sidebar. Now, I got an image of a flower off of Wikimedia Commons, and I will paste the link into the message board of this video where you can get that image if you want to follow along. But you can use any image you want. Now, if we open this up in Microsoft Paint, you can see here I added some text down here and we're going to put in a, sort of a fake advertisement for buying flowers. And uh, if you want to add this text, you just hit the uh, text button here and then you can go ahead and draw a rectangle and you can type in your text there if you want to do that. Okay, so let's close out of this. Now the first thing we need to do, of course, is create some HTML. So let's go ahead and do that. And as we know now, we have to put that after our second sidebar, but before our main content panel. So let's go ahead and do that. I already typed it out, so I'll copy and paste it into here. And uh, actually, let's rename this class, and we'll call this Image Sidebar, a very relevant name. Now, of course, we're going to use divs again. You'll notice that we're going to put the class this time inside the IMG tag, not uh, with the div. Now, we'll put a class here later, but for now, we're going to create a class for the IMG HTML tag. Now, the key here is we want the same attributes as our sidebar. So we want it to be the same width, uh, have the same margin. So we can use uh, some of this code over again. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste this. And we're going to, of course, call this image sidebar. Now, we do not want a background color because we want the image to take up all of the space. So we don't need that. So we can get rid of that. We don't need to worry about the font size. We can get rid of that. And uh, we don't want any padding because if we put padding in, that will reduce the size of the image. We want that to expand completely out. But we still need to count the padding because we want it to equal our other sidebar. So this is 40 pixels. So we need to add that to the width because that gets counted. So we'll make this 300 pixels. And now we can get rid of the padding. We're obviously going to continue floating this right. And we will continue to use a border radius and we will use the same margins, and we will also use the clear right parameter. So let's go ahead and save everything up, and let's see what we get. Oh, but before we do that, um, make sure that you put the image inside the website folder, whatever image you decide to go with. And of course, make sure the name of that image matches uh, what we have here in the source parameter, and then everything should be just fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our web page. And there you can see we've got our nice image now. It expands all the way out in terms of the surface area of the element. And we've got our nice advertisement here. And that looks pretty good. Now, in the next video, we're going to actually add some effects to this sidebar. See you guys then.